Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cat clown keychain. He's really sweet, really cute, and I hope that you find the tutorial for how to make him really clear and simple. If you do, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. Now let's get on with it. Make a magic circle. Then for the first row, chain one and place six single crochet stitches into the magic circle. For row 2, place 6 increases for a total of 12 stitches overall. For row 3, create a pattern of 1 single crochet stitch and then one increase. Repeat for a total of six times, leaving you with 18 stitches overall. For 04, create a pattern of two single crochet stitches and then one increase. Repeat for a total of six times, leaving you with 24 stitches overall. For row five, start with one single crochet stitch and then one increase. Then create a pattern of three single crochet stitches. And one increase. Repeat this for a total of five times. Finishing with two single crochet stitches, leaving you with 30 stitches overall. For row six, create a pattern of four single crochet stitches. And then one increase. Repeat this for a total of six times leaving you with 36 stitches overall. For rows seven to 11, place one single crochet stitch in each of the existing stitches, leaving you with a total of 36 single crochet stitches overall. For row 12, create a pattern of four single crochet stitches. And then one decrease. Repeat this for a total of six times, leaving you with 30 stitches overall. For row 13, place one single crochet stitch and then one decrease.
create a pattern of three single crochet stitches. And then one decrease. Repeat for a total of five times. Then finish with two single crochet stitches, leaving you with 24 stitches overall. For row 14, create a pattern of two single crochet stitches, and then one decrease. Repeat this for a total of six times, leaving you with 18 stitches overall. For row 15, create a pattern of one single crochet stitch and then one decrease. Repeat for a total of six times, leaving you with 12 stitches overall. Make sure to stuff most of the head, aiming for it to feel quite firm. For row 16, place 6 decreases, leaving you with 6 stitches overall. Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain 1, then cut, leaving a tail for sewing and pull through. To close up, sew through the front loops of each of the stitches, Pull the thread then secure by sewing through the body. Pushing it through one gap across the body. And then back through the same gap. And cut. Create a slip knot and then chain two. In the second chain from the hook, place one single crochet stitch. Then chain one and turn. Then for the second row, place one increase, leaving you with two stitches overall. Then chain one and turn. For row three, place two increases for a total of four stitches overall. then chain one and turn. For row four, place four single crochet stitches for a total of four stitches overall. Then chain one, cut, leaving a tail for sewing, and pull through. Repeat to make the other ear. Row 
Make a magic circle. Then for row one, chain one and place eight single crochet stitches into the magic circle. Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, cut, leaving a tail for sewing, and pull through. And repeat for the other side of the muzzle. Join them together, beginning where the tails are, and sewing down the connected sides. Make a magic circle. And then chain one, placing six single crochet stitches into the magic circle. Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, cut, leaving a tail for sewing, and pull through. For row one, chain one, and then place four single crochet stitches into the magic circle. For row two, place four increases for a total of eight stitches overall. For rows three and four, Place one single crochet stitch in each of the existing stitches for a total of eight single crochet stitches overall. For row 5, create a pattern of one single crochet stitch and then one increase. Repeat for a total of four times, leaving you with 12 stitches overall. For row 6, create a pattern of 2 single crochet stitches and then 1 increase. And repeat this for a total of 4 times, leaving you with 16 stitches overall. For row 7, place 1 single crochet stitch and then 1 increase. Then create a pattern of 3 single crochet stitches and 
and one increase. Repeat for a total of three times. Finishing with two single crochet stitches for a total of 20 stitches overall. Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, cut, leaving a tail for sewing, and pull through. Make a slip knot then chain 16 slip stitch into the first chain For row 1, chain 1, and place 2 half double crochets into each stitch. Do this for a total of 32 stitches overall. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For row two, create a pattern of one double crochet stitch. And then in the next stitch, place three double crochet stitches. Repeat this for a total of 16 times, for a total of 64 stitches overall. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one, cut and pull through. Make a slip knot, then chain 41. Starting in the second chain from the hook, create 40 slip stitches. Chain one, cut, leaving a tail for sewing, and pull through. Sew the ruff onto the bottom of the head by going through the inner stitches of the ruff and then into the head.
If you want to, you can sew each peak of the ruff to the head to make sure that they each stay in place. Sew through the outside of the muzzle, placing it above the ruff. Secure the thread by pushing across the body and then cut. Sew the nose on at the top middle of the muzzle. Secure thread by pushing through the body. Repeat by going through the same gap. And then cut. Stuff the hat before attaching. And then sew the hat onto the head by threading through the back loops only. This helps to create a separation between the hat and the head instead of going through the front loops and making a more seamless connection, which makes it look less like a hat. Sew through the bottom row of the ear and then into the head, making sure to have the placement in front of the hat. Repeat the process for the other ear. Then using black yarn, create an eye close to the nose, making it two stitches tall. Repeat the process until you're satisfied with the appearance of the eye. Repeat the process for the other eye. Sew the strap to the top of the hat, including through the end of the strap, to create a loop. Thank you. 
secure thread by pushing through the hat, then the head, and back again. Cut the end. And here we have the final reveal. I hope that you like your new little friends as much as I do. I think he makes the most adorable addition to your bag. I hope you found this tutorial useful to figure out how to make him. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. I have more content to make more adorable crochet makes. As always, thank you for watching the video and I hope that you have a very nice day.